should you learn computer science? As a title of the video is to give you some ideas whether or not you should choose computer science for your degrees at uni. Let me have a brief introduction to myself. I am a second year master's student in computer science, majored in software engineering. Before this, I finished my bachelor degrees also in computer science, majored in big data. The more I dig inside the computer science, the more I found different than my beginning expectations. Here are the facts that will be important for someone who wants to start the journey of computer science, at least the points that I really want to know at the beginning. First, you should have passion or interest in computer science. Don't choose computer science due to others' influences or just think it's a good career choice. It will be painful if you do decide to learn CS due to the both reasons. I have a cultural background where most people don't have any specific interest or have no chance to find out it during teenage time. I choose computer science mainly because it has a good salary as developers and a bright career futures. So I feel it's not too many desires and patience left when doing the coding but cannot give up. I already finished the sales degrees. If I decided to switch, it means I have to abandon the previous effort. Point two, keep sharp in math. At the beginning of learning computer science, I felt the main concept of it is to communicate with computer. The key concept of programming is the language to communicate with machines. This is partially correct. A key point in the industries of developers is to transfer requirement to mathematical expressions, then transfer it to a computer language or programming. So you can see, the bridge to connect between the real world and computer is mathematics. For me, I'm not sharp in both. My first programming language is Java, the most common use in the industry. The object oriented concept is quite confusing for a beginner. When a bug occurs, it's really painful and will be time consuming. There's no chat GPT at that time, so the debugging is a mess. It's quite difficult to handle your own mistakes and will lose patience soon. If you are very sharp in programming but lacking appropriate math knowledge, it will be a disaster. Especially you want to step into the big data related fields like me, it's like a torture, especially when you are lacking passion in it. Integrations, matrix, and all other stuff will crash too. Point three, high pressure in the industry. Most companies in the States using agile software development principles. The principle focusing on the changing current development process to suit stakeholders' requirement. Another point is to everyone should do everything. When the requirements are received from the clients, the developing teams will transform it into a more detailed function the product backlog items, then decided functions developing according to the timeline, split the backlog items according to the developing requirement and set the time to finish. In each stage of this box time period, there will be a stand-up meeting to share information and developing process with other team members. This makes the products can finish at least one function at a specific time period. Then it can have a product prototype to show to the client. Also, because each function is developed in a time period, the adjustment from the client can be adopted quickly. This will increase the product delivery and quality, make the client happy. But for the developer, it will be high pressure. The function needs to be adapted according to the requirement shortly and providing working functions at a limited time, including researching, learning, coding, and debugging. When the app or website is going to online, the developers need to wait and ensure no issues occur. The testing process is also necessary. Otherwise, if the issue occur, the, pro the application is not a function or crash. Then the programmers are in big troubles. If you are doing a database, large likely you will be work 24 hours. Because database issues need to be fixed at the first place, or the whole software will not be working no place to store the information. So these are the three points. But after all of this, most important is your passion and desire. I'm pretty sure if you want to do some things, you can make it come true. The key issues will be your passion and interest. So this is the end of today's videos. 
please like, subscribe and comment below. See you in next video.